Welcome back to another video style crew. If you're new here, I am Rio. So as you can see today, I have a huge Jersey pickup haul. Now I do have two other Jersey pickup videos. The first one was an Iverson Jersey pickup, Mitchell Ness Authentic. I think I had like seven or eight jerseys in that video. If you haven't seen that, I'm gonna link that right up here where you can check it out. And I'll also link it down below in the description section. The second Jersey pickup video I did was a little bit of a mix. I had some authentic jerseys in there. Then I had some stitch twill swingman jerseys all from Mitchell and S in that video as well, which I think that video went up sometime in December. So again, I'm gonna link it up here, also down below in the description section. So if you haven't seen those videos, feel free to check them out. In those videos, I'll talk about buying a lot of Mitchell and Ness Swingman jerseys. This video has 25 jerseys, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and split this in two videos. There's a lot to talk about, and I don't want to make a 40 minute video. Hopefully I can do two videos somewhere around the 15 minute mark. So we can see how that turns out. 25 total jerseys. This video, I'm gonna get through 13 jerseys, and then the next video, I will get to 12 of them. Now, if you've already saw the jersey content that I put up, I just mentioned the two other haul videos, and I also did recently a real versus fake Mitchell Ness video. Now, before we hop into these jerseys, I wanna to touch base on that real versus fake really quick. There appears to have been a little bit of controversy about whether the jerseys were real or weren't real. And in that video, I gave my opinion and all I can ever really do is give my opinion and talk about how I feel about things, which is what I utilize my platform to do. Now, here's the thing about products in general. If you're a consumer and you are purchasing a product under the assumption, or if you are told that it is a genuine product, then it should have been a production of that particular brand. In that video, a lot of people were saying, well, like maybe they were just made in different factories, but that's the thing. If they're made in a different factory without the knowledge of Mitchell and Ness, then they're not real. And that's just my opinion. The quality can be up to par, everything can be up to par, but if it's not made with the consent of Mitchell and Ness, then it's a counterfeit product. There's so many different products that are counterfeit that are of the highest quality that you may not know are not a genuine product because it was not endorsed by that particular company or that brand. So keep in mind that just because something appears to be of the highest quality, doesn't make it real. Now in that video, the colors weren't right, the cuts weren't right, the cuts for the twill, the cuts for the jerseys. There were so many flaws within that jersey that made me say like, this cannot be real. And when I put it side by side to the real one, to me it was apparent that it wasn't. So that's just my opinion. Leave it, take it, whatever you want to do with it. That is how I feel about it. If you want to go out and actually buy something that comes from a different warehouse that it's up to your liking, up to your standards, then go for it. I'm not going to knock you for that. So for that reason, don't knock me for not wanting to do it. Anyway, let's hop into these jerseys. Vince Carter, authentic jersey right here. Now, this is the only authentic Mitchell Ness jersey that I have in this video. If you saw the other videos, you heard me talk about my authentic jersey that I was buying, only the players that I really, really liked. And I liked Vince. Vince was dope, one of the best dunkers of all time. But I wouldn't say Vince Carter was one of my favorite, favorite players. The reason why I decided to get this in the authentic is because the Swingmans just didn't do it justice. This particular jersey, the way this is done in the authentic form is so, so dope. And it's one of the dopest jerseys to ever have been worn in NBA, in my opinion. This is one of those ones that was tough to find in a swingman that was stitched, which they no longer make no more. I bought it in a, what I thought was gonna be a stitched swingman and it wasn't, so I had to return that. Then I bought a T-Mac and I was like, maybe if I can't get Vince, I'll just get T-Mac. As long as it's stitched, I should be okay. But then that didn't seem like it was real, so I had to return that. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get the authentic and be done with it. For size reference, because I know I've been getting a lot of questions about sizing what you guys should do. I am six foot one, 170 pounds. All of these jerseys, this one being authentic, and all of these others are all swingmen. So they're all stitched swingmen, so a little bit of the older generation. They're all a size medium. So if you want that tailored look, that tailored fit, I would suggest going with your true size. And if you want it to be a little bit oversized so you can put a hoodie or whatever else you want to under it, you probably want to go with a size large. Now, even though these are size medium, they're a little more tailored, I can still personally get away with wearing a hoodie and I don't mind it. So that's just me and how I operate with the jerseys. Size medium all the way. The Phoenix Suns number 13. Some of you guys may already know, but of course that is Steve Nash. And again, I already mentioned it, but I wanna make sure I mention it again. All of these jerseys, except for the Vince Carter, are all swingman jerseys. They are the stitched 
swing mans, which they no longer make this way. So if you're looking for a stitch swingman jersey, do not buy off of Fans Edge, do not buy off of NBA Store, do not buy off of any of those websites because in most cases, I would say like 85 to 90% of the time, you're gonna get a heat press jersey because that's how they are producing them these days. For me, it was imperative that everything be stitched because they fit just like the Authentics. They're a little bit longer. And of course the quality is better, again, in my opinion. eBay's gonna be your best friend. Grail, Depop, all of these other websites are gonna be your best friend, but be careful. Everything that you see here is stitched like you see. Steve Nash, Phoenix Suns, 96, 97. Orlando Magic in the blue with the stars all over it, number one. Some of you may already know, but of course that is T-Mac Tracy McGrady. This is a dope, dope jersey. It's even doper in the authentic. Every jersey I bought couldn't have been authentic and I was perfectly fine with a swing man. Again, as long as it was stitched. I don't know if you can see that. Maybe a little bit better, you can see the stitching there. One of the reasons why I bought so many in such a short period of time, because the stitched swing man jerseys are so hard to find. Most of the ones that I came across that I liked, I would pretty much just cop it. Like if it was a player that I liked, a team that I like, a colorway of a jersey that I like, I was, chances are I was copying it. So that's why I bought so much. By me buying jerseys, I wanna make this very, very clear. I am not copying anyone. I am not trying to hop on a trend. I am not trying to be like anyone else. I'm not new to buying jerseys. I bought jerseys many, many years ago. And if you've been following my channel for a while, you would know a couple years ago, I had a champion jersey pickup video and I bought like four or five champion jerseys. It just so happens that sometime in like, August of last year, I happened to start getting into the Mitchell and Ness, which I was aware of, but I had never really looked that closely into them. I actually had Mitchell and Ness jerseys way, way, way back in the day when, you know, of course, throwback jerseys were very, very popular. We were all wearing the big, you know, the big, big, big jerseys. They probably weren't real. I doubt they were, who knows, I'm not sure. Am I gonna wear every single jersey that I bought? I mean, I don't know, but it's like, I just thought it was like more of like a collector's thing. I just wanna make it very clear. I'm not trying to copy nobody. I've got those comments before. I am not copying nobody. If you saw the Iverson video, again, it's down there in the description section. I talked about a lot of the Jersey channels that I watched, that I learned from, and I already shouted out one of them, and I'm gonna continue shouting them out in my Jordan Jersey haul, because that's where I got a lot of knowledge from, is from the Jordan jerseys. But there are channels that I looked at and as a matter of fact, I'm gonna actually link some of them down below in the description section. Check some of those guys out because those guys are very instrumental to me. I would say them here, but I actually don't remember, so I gotta look them up, and then I'll drop them down. But in my next Jersey haul videos, like the Jordans that I'm gonna be doing, I will make sure to give them verbal, shout outs and verbal credit. Teal Grant Hill, 98, 99, Pistons. Grant Hill was actually one of my favorite players growing up. Of course, Jordan was my favorite, but he was one of my favorite. This was definitely one that, you know, I saw it and had to get. Stitch Swingman, size medium. A lot of you should already know what this is. This is the 96, 97 year. Turn it around, of course we got 33, morning, Alonzo morning. I got this one, I think on like Depop or, or Grail. To, no, I'm actually pretty sure it was Depop. It was used, I gave it a good wash and it's actually really, really good condition. Wait, did I get some on Depop? As a matter of fact, I think I got this one on eBay. I, I bought so many of these, I can't remember. <laughs> This one was such a hard find. Again, stitched, it had to be stitched. You can see the thread there. Everything had to be stitched. For those of you who are, are not aware, this is Drazen Petrovic, 92-93. Of course, his career was cut short. Tragically, he ended up passing away in a car accident. He was such a dope player, kind of before my time in, in, in watching him and knowing about him, but learning over the years and doing research, such a dope player. I just thought this was a dope jersey to have, and again, in this stitched form was so, so hard to find. I can't remember who I bought this from, but I think it was a seller on Depop. And I got another jersey from him as well, so I'm gonna shout him out when I get to that jersey. Washington Bullets, number two, 94, 95, Chris Weber. Again, I don't know if I just keep showing you these stitching because like, and I'm telling you that everything is stitched because I wouldn't get it if it's not. Everything, I think you can see that, yeah. Everything is stitched. They're a much better way to go quality and the fit was still great. Now we're about to hop into the NBA legends, starting with Larry Bird. 33 Celtics, NBA legend, 
He's a great, you really can't go wrong with the Larry Bird jer jersey. So to make sure you guys are aware that everything has to be stitched for me with these jerseys, I can't do the new Swingmans because one, the body's a little bit shorter, they're cut a little bit slimmer, and they just don't feel as the same quality as these do. And that's just, again, personal opinion. Another NBA legend. This is, again, one of the dopest jerseys in my opinion. Number six, we already know who that is. Dr. J, Julius Irving. This was 1976, 1977. Oh, and then Larry Bird was 85, 86. I love the stars on the side of this one. I said I would stop showing y'all, but I wanna make sure, I want y'all to keep in mind that if it's not stitched, I'm not getting it. Not from the same era as the other two legends, but we do have another legend, as you see here. This is New York Knicks 33. Of course, you guys already know that is Patrick Ewing, 91, 92. New York, great New York legend. For me, it was a dope pickup. <laughs> 21, Atlanta Hawks, Dominique Wilkins. 1986, 1987. I loved these style of jerseys back then. Dominique uh, Wilkins and Spud Webb, the dunk contest. I think these colorways of jerseys back then were far, far, far better than what the current day is. And again, personal opinion. We have Clyde the Glide Drexler. And um, as Jordan said, like, you know, he took it personal when they kept comparing them to him. So I had to get this particular jersey basically because, like I said earlier, I used to have older Mitchell Ness big, big jerseys. And I had this, not the same player, but I had this colorway of jersey, but it was Bill Walton. I'm not opposed to having a Bill Walton jersey, but I knew if I got this same particular jersey style and colorway, that it had to be Drexler. So, you know, I picked up the Drexler. This particular jersey was another one that was super, super hard to find. I came across a seller on Depop. The name of the seller is Throwback Arena. I'm gonna link him down below. Very, very cool dude. He also has an Instagram shop as well. I'm gonna link that down below. Good dude, good conversationalist, good dude to talk to and type with. He's stationed over in Hong Kong, so he shipped this jersey from Hong Kong. Don't worry, it is legit. Tags on there, legit tags. He's a legit seller, dope. He cut me some good deals. And um, you guys definitely check him out. So if you're looking for throwback jerseys, whether it's Mitchell Ness or Champion, that are new or used, used being in great quality, check them out. I got both these jerseys from that one seller and both of them are very, very hard to find. So I was very grateful to find him. We have an NBA All-Stars 22. Like who, who could that be? You see these jerseys have the same exact number. So that probably gave you the hint already that this one, of course, is Drexler like this one. So both of these are Clyde Drexler. Um, again, everything is stitched. That's for what I prefer for Swingman's. This was the 1989 All-Star Game February on February 12th. All this twill is stitched, NBA logo up there stitched. Very, very, very dope jersey in my opinion. That concludes the first half of this haul. If you'd like to see the rest of the jerseys in this haul and you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, turn your post notifications so when I drop new videos, you're gonna be notified. Now the other part of this video will only be like a day or two behind, so be on the lookout for that. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. This upcoming spring and summer, you'll be seeing a lot of jerseys on there as well. Anyway, I'm gonna catch you guys on the second half of this jersey haul. Peace.